pressure to develop a vaccine for the coronavirus is high, with nine major pharmaceutical companies in competition to produce the first. But one of them, AstraZeneca, is facing a setback. One of their trial participants has fallen ill. It could be one of two things, either the category of a, an event that this participant already had some underlying non-related um, medical condition or a, what we call serious side effect, an SSE. And that's what AstraZeneca and the Oxford University will be exploring. AstraZeneca had been carrying out randomised controlled trials on around 30,000 people in the US, the UK, Brazil and South Africa. For the vaccine developers, any bad side effects, even if they only affect one in 30,000, are cause for concern. AstraZeneca said in a statement, we voluntarily paused vaccination to allow review of safety data by an independent committee. This is routine action which has to happen whenever there's a potentially unexplained illness in one of the trials. The pause is likely to delay rollout of the vaccine, even if it's proven safe. Well, obviously, I, I, I'd rather this went completely smoothly. Uh, however, we're absolutely clear that safety comes first with the vaccine. So there's been a pause while they investigate uh, an incident. Uh, and this has happened before, and then the pause has been lifted. Um, but it just shows how much of an emphasis we put on the safety of the vaccine, even though, of course, uh, we're all desperate to see it work. US officials were reportedly considering fast-tracking approval to beat the November presidential election. And last month, the European Union signed a contract with AstraZeneca to supply it to all 27 member states. On Tuesday, major vaccine developers, including Pfizer and GlaxoSmithKline, pledged that safety would remain a priority at every stage of development. For AstraZeneca, the worst-case scenario will see it abandoning its current vaccine and starting all over again. Shamim Chowdhury, TRT World.